Do you think that the release of the Gupta leaks, those particular emails, do you think it'll change anything come uh, December in terms of the ANC's national conference? Well, I think what, what it has changed uh, in, in the immediate sense is, is uh, uh, given us all confirmation of either perceptions or suspicions or knowledge uh, of uh, what we would generally call corruption as far as both the private sector and the public sector is, is actually concerned. Secondly, it's give us, given us some sense of scale. So when the CFO who's now suspended of Eskom says, I gave a guarantee of one and a half or whatever billion rands and says it's so likely, uh, and here you have a board which says, well, I didn't know about it, then what kind of governance are we actually talking about? So it's given us some sense of scale. If you're saying that the state is buying 50 billion rands worth of locomotives and somebody is extracting somewhere between 10 and 20 percent commission for not doing anything serious uh, in relation to that transaction, that's another indication of, of scale. And that those are all public resources which are being filtered away uh, in a very improper way and uh, something needs to be done about that. But the flip side of that coin is what's the consequences? Mm. So on the one hand there's greater knowledge, greater awareness and I think today uh, South Africans in all walks of life know what corruption means, they know generally speaking who's responsible and thirdly are fed up as well uh, with that because now it appears in survey after survey regardless of who conducts the survey and where people actually come from. The sad part is that those institutions that are responsible on behalf of society and the state uh, to actually bring to account and bring to justice uh, those who are committing uh, these offences are uh, not doing their work. And in the view of uh, some, including the academics who have produced this recent report, uh, they, they are part of the uh, captured institutions in South Africa. And uh, that then means that you have a high risk in our country of uh, just sort of small scale corruption developing into grand scale corruption, developing into impunity, mm. which means I can get away with anything I like. There's nothing you can do about it. Mm. The worst stage, which we're beginning to get inklings of now, is uh, the don't care factor. I don't care what happens to the country or what happens to my organization, the ANC, I'm going to carry on with what I'm doing because uh, I have a particular period in time in which I can extract public funds for my own purposes. And that's the dangerous phase because it actually means that we are undermining the future of this country and undermining the future of many generations to come as well.